guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a tag video that I've seen going around and I thought I would do it also um, so this is going to be the five luxury items that you will never buy no matter the hype so if you guys want to see what I will not be purchasing anytime soon keep watching all right guys so to start out this video is just in fun do not be offended if you have any of these items. I'm 100% sure I have plenty of things that people find that they would never ever actually purchase and it doesn't bother me in the least bit. <laughs> so again, please don't be offended, it's just for fun. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is this clear plastic bag trend. I don't even know what to call it. It's just like a clear plastic kind of look that some of the designers were doing for a while. Don't understand it. I think Chanel had one, I think a couple of other designers um, did the same thing. Um, so basically it's just like a clear bag that you just basically see all of your things. I don't know, I don't get it. So for me, like even if you like the look, I could see maybe purchasing like an inexpensive clear plastic bag or something and like just having like your SLGs on display, like your designer SLGs on display inside the bag maybe. I don't know, maybe that's a look, I don't know. but. I don't see the purpose of actually spending the money for the clear plastic bag. I don't get it. I don't know if you like it, if you have it. I don't know. Great. <laughs> but it's just never something that I would do. So I don't understand that at all. <laughs> all right. The next thing I want to talk about is any super mini bag. Um, I know a lot of people like small bags. I'm a big bag person myself. I am getting into the smaller bags. Um, I just got a Gucci Marmont camera bag, which is pretty small. But anything really smaller than that, I just really can't. I don't know. I don't. I don't really understand it. Um, because these bags are not, you know, inexpensive. They are pretty costly, even the super mini ones. So, like, I think um, Gucci does have like a super mini version of the Marmont bag. I think maybe the Dionysus they have like a you know really small version of that one as well. And I'm pretty sure there are some other designers that do this really really small bag. Even the wallet on chain for me is a little too small. Um. I know you can probably fit like your phone, maybe like a lip gloss, maybe in like one or two other things, but I don't know. I just feel like that's way too much money to spend on something that you have to downsize that, that much. I don't even really know if a phone will fit in all of them, but I'm um, like the super minis for me is just a no. I can see a small bag, even like the Chanel minis. I could possibly see that. I don't think I would ever purchase that though, because I think that's too much money to spend for you know such a small amount of bag so I just can't see it I don't know I don't I don't get it like if I were gonna downsize that much I think I would just probably have to you know go with something a little less expensive I don't think I would really go for high-end designer for something that small but again my opinion to each his or her own <laughs> so the next thing I want to talk about is a luggage piece well specifically specifically the key ball so yeah I'm gonna say the next one is the key ball specifically because I actually could see, like if money were no object, I actually could see me getting a luggage piece, um, like from Louis Vuitton, but like a rolly, like a one with wheels on it. The key ball for me, I don't understand. I don't understand because again, it's not an inexpensive bag. And I think for, I don't know, I think I could see it used maybe like as a weekend bag possibly. Like if I were gonna do a weekend trip and it only involved me packing my things, taking it, putting it in my car, getting out of my car and taking it into, like if I were gonna go home, like at my parents' house or something, to just take my bag out of my car, take it into their house, or if you were like renting a house or something like that or for vacation. But if your trip involves a hotel, if it involves a flight, an airport, any of that, I cannot for the life of me understand why the key ball would be anyone's choice of luggage <laughs> For that kind of trip because that would be heavy for me spending money for a luxury item should you know kind of result in some kind of luxury experience <laughs> and for me carrying around like really like a giant duffel bag on my shoulder walking through the airport is not luxury there's no way <laughs> at all there's no way at all I would ever carry that bag around with me in the airport even if I'm just going to a hotel, I don't want to carry it from the car to go check in, to, you know, carry it to the room. It's just too much. I just, I don't know. I don't really get the point of it. So the keep all for me, you know, is an, an absolute no. I don't understand it. Now, the next thing I know, some people are going to be offended and it's fine. 
but, but next on my list is the Neverfull, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And I've talked about this bag several times in several videos. I've considered the bag. I've even gone to look at the bag myself and I just can't do it. And I know it's a lot of people's first designer bags and I get it. Like I completely understand why you would get that bag um, because it is really functional. It's a tote and it's like, okay, you can carry all your things. And you know, I'm from Louis Vuitton. The canvas is pretty durable. Um, I get it. But for me, it's a no because it's like, again, I do like structured bags and I understand that is just not the design of the bag. But I just can't see me paying that kind of money for a bag that you can just like fold up. It's like, it's so floppy and it's just, I don't know, like when I see it, on some people, I do like the bag. When I see the bag, I do like the bag. It does look nice sometimes. But there are also times when I see the bag and it just looks sloppy. I'm sorry. So I'm sorry if you're offended, but I don't know. I see it like sometimes it looks great, but the times when I see it and it doesn't look great, it just completely turns me off. And I'm like, oh, I just, <laughs> maybe it's the way you take care of the bag. I, I don't know. Maybe if you always have it stuffed and you just, you know, take care of it and I don't know, keep it standing upright all the time. Maybe it will continue to look like that. But there are times that I've seen the bag, but it's just, I don't know, just kind of smushed and I don't know, sloppy. And I just, I don't know, I can't do it. Um, So that, as well as that not really having a zipper, not being able to close it, I needed to do more. I don't know, I just needed to do more for me. So for me, the Neverfull is just not, I, I can't, I can't do it. And I say that, but then I'm also going to say, if you happen to see me post it up on the gram with a Neverfull, just don't pay me any mind. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So the last thing I want to talk about is probably going to be offensive to some people as well. But you know, again, it's just my opinion. So this is going to be Hermes, but I'm going to say it's going to be an experience more so than an actual bag. Now, one bag that I actually don't like, I don't like the Birkin specifically, so I, I would never get that one anyway because I just, I'm not a fan of the way the bag looks. I actually do like the look of the Kelly, but as you guys know, these bags are super, super, super expensive. And I think the point of me putting Hermes on the list as far as Hermes handbags like the Birkin and the Kelly are because of the experience that I hear other people talking about as far as purchasing a bag. So for me, I know I've heard people you know, saying, oh, you know, you have to basically kind of prove yourself worthy to be able to be offered a bag from Hermes. And I, that's just not something that I'm really gonna do. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if money were no object, I would probably get a Kelly, but at no point would I ever be okay with any brand, like taking my money to a brand and going to the store and feeling like I have to prove to a particular brand or prove to a salesperson that I am worthy to give you my money. <laughs> That's crazy to me. I, I don't know. I've never gone to, you know, even consider purchasing a bag from Hermes. So I'm not sure if that is the case. I mean, if that is not the case, then, you know, I can take them off the list. But, you know, I've watched several YouTube videos of, you know, a couple of people sharing their experience. They're saying, you know, they go in and try to buy a bag. You know, you have salespeople that look at them like, you know, what are you wearing or, you know, like, no, <laughs> like they'll basically laugh at them, you know, kind of, or that, you know, they've been told that they have to purchase, you know, additional items or, or purchase or build up a, a, a purchase history before they're offered a Birkin or Kelly. So they'll have to go in and buy, you know, other things that they're really not even interested in. Like, oh, they'll have to buy a belt or they might buy some perfume or buy another, you know, SLG or something like that. And I'm, I'm I don't know, I'm just not interested. I mean, I like, I like fashion. I like the history of, you know, these design houses. I do, you know, research as well. So I respect it. Um, but, you know, it's it's just fashion for me. I mean, <laughs> they're bags and they're things and it's my money. That's more important. Um, when I work for my money, um, I don't really feel like I need to prove to anyone that my money is good enough to shop your brand. So that's just not something I'm going to do. I, I mean, if I ever do have the money to go purchase a Kelly, um, and I decide that that's something that I want. If I ever go into an Hermes store and I get the feeling that, hey, you know, I, we don't want your money. You have to prove to us that you're worthy of our bag. Then absolutely not. I'll never have one. I'll never return there. I'll never purchase anything else from the brand. <laughs> like that's just how I feel about it. I, I don't know. That's just something um, I'm just not interested in. I don't know how you guys feel about it. But, um, you know, let me know your thoughts. If you agree or disagree with anything, 
let me know. So those are my picks of things that I will not be purchasing anytime soon. And like I said, I say that today, but who knows? I don't know. Like I said, you might see me on the gram tomorrow with one of these bags. <laughs> So anyway, um, so if you are into luxury handbags or luxury purchases or things like that, and you haven't done this and you want to do it, do it. I'm tagging everybody. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.